Okay, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the, uh, welcome to the Doctor Who news here with Doctor Freedom. Uh, news from in and around the Hooniverse that may or may not affect you in some way. Uh, the reason I got thrown off a little here on the intro tonight is I was having a little bit of weirdness going on with our internet. It doesn't happen often down here, surprisingly. And when it does, it's kind of puzzling. But then suddenly, about uh, 15 minutes ago or so, as of you know, time of this recording, it suddenly started working on par again. So. I don't know. Hopefully it's just a glitch and we won't have any trouble uploading this one and we'll get it to you. But okay, let's go ahead. Let's get to the exciting news today. Now, right off the bat, we're going to get started with this item. Now, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, because there's some thing, things people may have noticed or may not have noticed that have been going on, you know, in the Hooniverse lately. And I don't want to spoil anybody, you know, as much as I've been putting photos up on the Dr. Freedom Facebook page, um, you know, I don't want to you know, turn you off from the videos here. So, okay, here we go. Now, this isn't a major spoiler because this was a news that was put out officially from the BBC today. We now have a title for the Christmas special. It's going to be The Husbands of River Song. But what's very peculiar about this photo right here, sorry about this. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I hate it when I lose my place like that. All right, stop, share. <laughs> All right is if you look at that photo very closely, look familiar? Looky here. They kind of just boggled, begoggled something in their own photo. We now have a confirmed that, yes, this is the new Sonic screwdriver. And it must be getting introduced sometime, hopefully, this week. Um, rumor is it'll be towards the end of the episode. So that's why I didn't want to spoil you about that. Uh, yeah, there's officially now a new sonic screwdriver in play as of the end of this series and if you zoom in on that photo that i just showed you bam here it is and it's very very different from what we've had over the last couple series i'm really glad that capaldi is finally oh sorry capaldi is finally getting his own sonic screwdriver it was kind of depressing seeing the you know the old matt smith you know, as much as i do like the old matt smith and i have I have one here um it, it, it was just the fact that they were reselling them in the stores and smacked 12th Dr. Sonic screwdriver on them. And I'm like, wait a minute, it's just the same prop that they've been using. But now we don't have to worry about that. See, look at that baby. Oh man. And apparently it confirms that this picture is authentic. The one that was draw getting dropped around on the Den of Geek forum. So, you know, I, you can't blame me. The BBC did that one to themselves. All right. They, they, you know, they, they horn swoggled their own thing. All right. So, okay, but let's get back to the other news. So it's kind of nice to see, yes, there's going to be a new Sonic screwdriver in play and apparently it's going to be in play, you know, in time for Christmas. All right. Now, could it mean that that one comic book cover was, you know, foretelling a little something? Hmm. Okay. Moving on home invasion. Now a lot of, I've been seeing this like mad. Now, if you watch this, please watch this. If you've not watched it yet, I mean, this is hilarious. Um, it's Peter Jackson, I believe, is, I think that's his daughter there, um, or whoever that is. And, oh, man, I don't want to ruin this one for you. You've got to watch this one for yourself. It is just plain funny as heck. Um, but the thing is, I've been seeing articles now from here to the Yucatan saying that this now confirms that Peter Jackson is announcing that he's going to direct an episode of Doctor Who. No, it doesn't. It's a teaser, okay? We, you know, when they announce formally from the BBC that this is in the bag, then jump up and down and go, oh, yeah, we've got Peter Jackson. And remember, they, and I'm glad that they brought this up right here on Doctor Who News. That's why I love these guys. The, please note the above video does not confirm that Jackson will indeed be directing the series. But I've seen articles on io9 and a couple other places now that are going, yes, that means Peter Jackson's going to be directing the episode of Doctor Who. No, it doesn't mean jack squat. It just meant that they had a little fun while you know, Peter Capaldi was down in New Zealand. Please watch this video. I cannot stress this enough. You will not regret it. It is hilarious. All right, moving on. I just love that one. All right. All right, publicity for Hellbent. Now, once again, this is just the images from Hellbent, a little bit of synopsis, but once again, here's the airing schedule if you need it. If you're somewhere out there around the world, you're like, oh, my God, Dr. Freedom, 
<laughs> I've been feeling out of when Doctor Who's going to be on. Boom, there it is right there, man. Uh, so you're all set. Just look it up there on the schedule. Yeah, it's probably, you know, in some cases, it doesn't air to like, you know, the following week. But hey, you know, at least you know when it's going to air. Okay, let's look at some teasers. Ooh, that image is scary. I'm not kidding. I've been, ooh, this is eerily frightening. I wonder how many people are going to use this now, you know, to put stick their face in it. But ah, well. All right, let's start with our, we've got 10 teasers for, sorry, well, it doesn't say 10. All right, so however many for Hellbent. All right, here we go. Why are they ringing all the bells? Never heard so many. Will all non-military personnel please step away from the doctor, at least move the children away? I think he's finishing his soup. Words are his weapons. When did they stop being ours? The doctor does not blame Gallifrey for the horrors of the time war. He just blames you. You, you like a cliffhanger, don't you? There was a saying in the time war, the first thing you notice about the doctor of war is he's unarmed. How many regenerations did we grant you? Prophecies, they never tell you anything useful, do they? There's a sound you've been living with every day of your life that you've learned not to hear. You died billions of years ago. Your death is an established historical event and cannot be altered. I'll try not to break your jaw. Why would a computer need to protect itself from the computer who made it, for the people who made it, I mean? And why is it you spend so much time on Earth? I'll tell you why a computer would need to protect itself from the people who made it. Windows 8. Does that strike any hints? All right. But, you know, interesting stuff. And if you ain't got enough, all right, we're going to jump on over here. This is their spoiler-free preview of the episode. But if you slip down to here, look at all this stuff. There's like, gosh, there's like 20 of them here. Let's try to go through them real quick. It's very weirdly, weirdly structured with all the stuff you'd expect from a series finale at the start. Then it goes off in another direction entirely. The first 20 minutes are amazing. The final few minutes are emotional and full of great moments. In between, a lot of stuff happens. Some of it cool, some of it creepy, and quite a few surprises. But it's not always clear why it's happening. It's not confusing. You know what's happening. But it's not always clear what the reasoning is. There are loads of memorable visuals. Occasionally, the special effects shots evoke an emotional response as well as a wow one. There are lots of new inter inter inferences about the doctor's past, but few actual uh, few actual facts apart from one. There are similar sorry, there are familiar locations, though, though no one's in an unfamiliar location. Someone comes up with an explanation about the hybrid, proceeding it with, but I have a better theory, and they don't. It's it's a rubbish theory. We hope we're not supposed to take it seriously. There's a moment when you think, hang on, this has been done before, but it doesn't pan out the same at all. Blank is very good in it with a very surprising destiny and good hair. As well as blank, there are other returnees too. You see, you can see them all in the picture gallery here, but mentioning them is not embargo because they're clearly not considered similarly ooh-worthy. Though one of them says a word and that may have you going, oh, and it begins with a B, and it certainly makes someone close to the doctor do a double take. The very first scene has a buckaroo bonsai in-joke, sorry, buckaroo bonsai in-joke. Yeah, for you folks who remember buckaroo bonsai across the eighth dimension. I think I have a copy of that here, scary enough. Oh, interesting movie. It's just out there. Okay, the doctor strums something on his guitar that he should never have heard. After having so many lines last week, this week Capaldi spends an awful lot of time on screen not talking and very effective he is too. He drops a spoon again. Coincidence? Probably, yeah, but hey, for sure we can make a visual metaphor out of it if we tried. What color is it? One well, pain of death. Do not take a selfie. We see something that we know does happen, actually happen on screen for the first time. The doctor quotes The Bride of Frankenstein. Something makes a comeback, and a final message for the doctor is an old message for the doctor. So take that as you will. Also, um, basically, yeah, the, of the Metro, you're not going to find a lot here, but I threw it in because they got some cute gifts. And, if you know, they also go a little bit of squee into some of the stuff that was in the trailer. So I just threw it on here as an extra. There's not really much to this one. All right, heaven sent. I cannot believe this for the freaking light of me. 80, seriously? 80? Now, sure, I didn't think it was the most fantastic episode end all be all of Doctor Who, but it was pretty damn spectacular. You know, and they gave it 80? Come on. Our Australian overnight ratings for Heaven Sent, final ratings for Sleep No More. Okay, Heaven Sent, Heaven Sent debuted in Australia, averaging 455,000 viewers. Uh, second highest rating ABC drama of the day, 12th highest of the day overall. All right, 
Sleep No More, 564,000 consolidated viewers. And basically, with 148,000 extra viewers, it's the second highest time shifted program of the day, 12th highest of the day overall. And once again, both of those figures do not include iView or regional viewers. All right, Face the Raven official rating came in at 6.05 million. And that, well, you know, that's a BARB figures, blah, blah, blah. But once again, and I stress this 100 times over because people have been doing the chicken little thing again. It does not include those watching online via iPlayer. All right, moving on. Lethbridge Stewart, Sadie Miller headlines the range for 2016. Now, Kenny Jar Books have confirmed that the range of books featuring the eponymous character Leth of Lethbridge Stewart will continue on in the next year with the first book of 2016, Moon Blink, to be penned by Sadie Miller and a preview which can be read at the end of the latest book in the series, Mutually Assured Domination. And if you want to go a little bit more into this type of series, boom, 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 here it is. Um, also, they have a competition if you want to you know, win a little something. Boom, 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 here it is. Okay, lastly for today, I found this one a little bit cute. Stephen Moffat on his early years, overcoming his shyness and the pressures of running Doctor Who and Sherlock. Uh, and this is just part one of a revealing interview with the showrunner himself. I'm going to leave this one for you, you know, to read on your own. And remember, look at this. Doggy. That's just part one. But, you know, gives you a little insight into the man behind, you know, the show that, that's going on right now, or both these shows, actually, sorry. Okay, so to sum it up, we now have it confirmed pretty much that, yes, Capaldi is finally getting his new sonic screwdriver. You know, it does confirm that the image that was dropped in the Denda Geek forums uh, about a week or so ago is authentic. And also the fact, you know, we now have the title, you know, The Husbands of River Song. Ooh, that makes her so, well, let's just say in 90s terms, we would deem her maybe a little user-friendly. But Okay. <laughs> Until next time, folks, I'm going to get on out of here. So take care, talk to Andre the rest of your night. See you all in the future. Bye-bye.